Okay, let's see if we can help my sensibilities as a mathematician and bring symmetry into our lopsided story so far. Right now we have boxes that go as far to the left as we please and we make sense of these boxes. In fact, if I tell you this is a 10-1 machine, let's go back to primary school for a moment, then we know these boxes represent what? Ones, I've got to write the numbers, ones and tens and hundreds and thousands and so on, off to the left. But I'm worried about it being lopsided. So I'm going to ask, as a mathematician, can we make this symmetrical? Can we have boxes going as far to the right as we please as well? Well, the answer is, sure, just make it happen. But the real question is, what could these boxes going infinitely far to the right actually mean? Now, if I stick with, say, 10 ones specifically right now, then I know the meaning to the boxes to the left, and I know this machine works by taking 10 dots in any one box and having them explode to become one dot one place over. So 10 ones makes 10. 10 of these makes the next one. 10 tens is 100, and so on. So, if that's the game of this machine, then these boxes must work the same way as well. That is, 10 dots in here, whatever they're worth, who knows what they're worth, must together explode and become one of those. So 10 of these explode, kaboom, messy, 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 become one dot there, which is worth one. 10 of something becomes one. That tells me these dots here must each be worth one tenth. 10 one tenths makes one. Now I'm going to see what's going on, because 10 of these, whatever they're worth, must together explode to make one of those, one tenth. 10 watts make one tenth? One hundredth. 10 one hundredths make one tenth. 10 of these makes one of thems, one thousandth. 10 one thousandth is one hundredth, and so on. I think I've now given meaning to the boxes off this direction as well as that direction. Beautiful. Now people call these decimals. Writing numbers in a, a symmetrical machine like this, we are writing numbers in decimal. Because in, based in, in English, the prefix deci means 10. So that's, a, that's language specifically for the 10 one machine. In fact, it's become standard in society to separate the decimal part from the whole number part with something called a point, well in this case called a decimal point in the 10 one language. In a 2 one machine, I guess I wouldn't use the word decimal, that means 10, I have to use the word what? Bimal or something? I don't know. Anyhow, we'll stick with 10 one for now. There's a decimal point. So when someone writes a number like 2.37, what they really mean is two dots in here, they mean three dots in here, and they mean seven dots in here. And how do you interpret that as an actual number? Well, what is it? It's uh, two ones, that's just two, plus three of these guys, three tenths, plus seven of these guys, plus seven one hundredths. So actually, a decimal is just the expression in terms of these particular fractions, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, and so on. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. In fact, if I wrote the fraction, I know, three uh, hundredths, well then clearly there'll be just this picture, du -du 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 -du, uh, clearing it here, messy, 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 three dots in the hundredth box, and that'll be the decimal, what, 0 .03, 0 .03. Some people like to write the zero in the front of the decimal point, some people don't, it's just a style thing, it's all good. Actually, there's one confusing point here, I should, should say this. Um, let's clear the box again. Some people might say, if they write 0 0.31, they might say this is 31 hundredths. Listen to what I just said, 31 hundredths. Which is actually a little strange at first thought, because 0 0.31 is literally this, it's 0.3, three dots, and one dot. So technically, this is, three tenths and one one hundredth. Yet people will say this is thirty one hundredths. Different language there. So the question is, are they saying the correct things? Well, of course they are. But, but why is these two different ways of thinking actually equivalent? So, is three tenths and one one hundredth the same as thirty one hundredths? Well, actually, yes. Because if I unexplode these dots, kabow! No, sorry, wrong sound effect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, bingo. Three dots here, one dot here is indeed equivalent to 31 dots here. It literally is 31 hundredths. So saying 31 hundredths is fine. Saying 3 tenths and 1 hundredth is fine. All is good. Grand. So I love this work. This is really super. Um, so we've got decimals become fractions. Getting fractions into decimals is a little more delicate. Let me just uh, make some space here on the board. Excuse me one moment, I'll just clean some space. All right, I'm back. I've made a little bit of space up here. So we want to get some fractions now into decimals. So I've known how to get decimals back to fractions, other way around. Um, let me start with a fraction like a half. Now, this is actually a bit delicate here because decimals are all set up to think in terms of tenths, hundredths, thousandths, and so forth. So the challenge is, can I think of this fraction one half in terms of tenths, hundredths, or thousandths, or whatever? Hmm. 
So what I'm going to do is actually, okay, the denominator of a 2 is annoying. I'd like to have one of these denominators, please. So what I could do that is multiply the bottom by 5, in which case I'd better multiply the top by 5 as well. Doing that gives me a bottom of 10 and a top of 5. So actually, I now see that 1 half is the same as 5 tenths, 5 of these guys. Oops, 5 of them. So actually, I can write it as 0.5. So that's the trick. So some fractions are going to be amenable to doing this. For example, I think 3 quarters is also a good one. Any way you can think about getting a denominator of either 10 or 100 or 1,000 from that? I can. I can think of multiplying by 25 on the top and the bottom. Keeps the fraction the same, but I now see 75 one hundredths. So it's really 75 of these guys. And if you like, I could do some explosions. 10 explode, 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 leaving 5 behind. Seven dots there, it's actually 0.75 before I run off the edge of the board. All right, so some fractions are amenable to writing as decimals, and other fractions have a feeling and to be a bit awkward, like 3 thirteenths? Huh, that seems like a topic for another lesson. I bet there's a way to handle even those ones. They will be cool.